Well, according to the marketing, two-thirds of us do have high cholesterol, putting us at risk of heart disease. And so are there any side effects to taking the medication? These aren't um, medication, these are actually food products. That's no, the great thing but about them. are there them. any side effects to changing your diet in that way so that you're not absorbing cholesterol? No, uh, there's absolutely no side effects. And it's true. Research does suggest that these products can safely lower your cholesterol by between 10 and 14 percent. But even if they do work, Professor Regan is not going to let them into the trolley that easily. And how long would I need to be taking one of these products uh, for, um, for me to see an effect? Within two weeks' time, uh, generally an, inf an effect on your blood cholesterol level, and particularly on the bad cholesterol levels. And as soon as I stop taking the product, then the beneficial effect on my cholesterol goes? Yes. Within a week to two weeks' time, you will see your cholesterol returning to your original level, yes. And what about the cost? If you choose from the spreads, it's approximately £70. Pounds. And then of these, you said these were 50 pence a day, did 50 you? pence, yeah. So it's uh, a little bit... Oh, it's over £100. Pounds. Mm. So they're slightly more well, expensive. Well, nearly 200 really. Well, 180 I think. Nearly but, 200 Yeah. <laughs> nearly £200 pounds a year for a potentially life-saving product sounds like a bargain. But now there's competition. Medically proven drugs called statins have been developed. They also reduce cholesterol. I'll tell you that I've had my cholesterol measured this week and it's within the normal range. Yes. I'll also tell you that I'm also taking a statin. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that I should be adding one of these products in on a daily basis? Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, my cholesterol level is around 4 millimolars per litre. I have been uh, myself involved in developing this product from the early stage onwards. I use every day, I use these products. But why are you not taking a statin? Uh, I don't feel ill. Uh, I Nor have, do I. No. What I'm pushing you to, uh, to help me understand is if I had the choice between going down the statin route or going down the product route, which one should I be choosing and why? I don't see that it is an issue of either statins or either proactive or benacol. They can work together. And uh, we feel there is a very uh, well place uh, for these types of products. They have been well researched. There are uh, over tens and of studies. And there are studies, no side effects. And there are no know. side effects. Uh, so they really deserve their place. But will these products actually go into Prof Regan's supermarket trolley? Well, yeah. They've got studies behind them demonstrating that they're of benefit. Um, but for myself, personally, I can't see why I would want to rely on what I eat every day when I can take a tablet um, that I know is going to work and reduce my cholesterol. Well, perhaps there I'm prejudiced because I'm medically trained and I would have thought that if I take a pill that it's sort of a, it's a constant, whereas I might not feel like having a yoghurt or Marmite toast or whatever. So Prof Regan won't be using them. But cholesterol-loading products are backed up by good science, so they will make it into the trolley.